Cam Newton has some comments because Cam Newton is throwing at Auburn's Pro Day. All right, Cam, I see you, baby. Um, let your actions speak louder than your words. But Cam had a couple of comments just to get everybody prepped, you know, just to get us a taste of what we're going to see at this Pro Day, supposedly. He said, quote, unquote, ain't 32 MFs better than me. I hope he said MFs and not motherfuckers, but he probably said MFs. I don't know. But Cam said 32 MFs ain't better than him. Got a point there. Uh, I'm also said, tell me how these randoms keep getting jobs. Got a point there as well. But we also got a counterpoint. He said this before last season on the Pivot podcast with my dog Fred Taylor Tangy Tank, and he didn't play at all last year. So he's been here before in the speech and talking about it, but it didn't materialize into an opportunity. Okay, there's a reason why Cam Newton is not signed. Let's listen to the analyst, the, you know, those talent evaluators. Basically, they say he's going on 34, extensive injury history, and he struggled picking up the Patriots offense. We all saw that, right? And he hasn't really had an above average passing grades and marks since 2015 when they were in the Super Bowl and he didn't dive on that ball, right? Ever since then, it's been like this for Cam Newton in terms of the passing game. But we do know he is a solid rushing threat. He can still run the ball. Uh, you can't teach that size. He's 6'5", 245, still can move, all that. And he will be tremendous insurance in the league as a backup if he can swallow whatever that looks like in terms of ego and being a backup. I've been there before, Cam. It's a little weird. And the salary that comes from being a backup, even though that's millions and millions of dollars, these cats get paid. I remember Taysom Hill got $17 million and he was a backup. So it's some money out there for a backup. So they were saying, where are the landing spots for Cam? Tell me if this is your team and tell me in the comments if you want them. The Packers, assuming what happens with Aaron Rodgers, you still got Jordan Love and what else? Okay, y'all know what I'm saying. What about the Lions? My boy and my former teammate, Dan Campbell. You got Jared Goff, nobody else on that roster under contract. The Chiefs, okay. We got Chad Henney retiring. Why are you retiring you behind Patrick Mahomes? Just milk that. Hold a clipboard, $5 million a year. What are you doing? But he's gone. So now, behind uh, Patrick Mahomes, they got a third-year guy, Shane Bouchele. Bouchele. Who that? Exactly. That's why I don't know how to say his name. Okay, the Ravens. Lamar Jackson. I don't know what the hell. Why y'all ain't offering Lamar Jackson five dollars somebody, like just to wash your car or something? Like y'all tripping on Lamar Jackson. But whatever happens with him, you got Tyler Huntley. But he's a free agent. He's trying to get paid. He may go somewhere else. Okay. Titans. Mm, we know what's going on with them. They both have been signed. Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry, King Henry. But Tannehill's been hurt of late and. Just seems like there's a glass ceiling, whether it's him or it's the system or whatever. He is peaked. It just seems like plateaued or what. So the Titans is one of them. And the Raiders. What about the Raiders? You got Jimmy G? All right. You know I love me some Jimmy GQ. Problem is, Jimmy doesn't always play all 16 games. Matter of fact, he never does, like basically. So behind Jimmy G, they got Chase Garbers. Come on, y'all. Cam Newton need to get somewhere. Like he said, all these randoms. Like, maybe he's not a starter right now. He has to show that he can play in the NFL or be a proper reserve. But how did he get here? You know how he got here? Let me tell you simply. Cam Newton got here because his feet got a little off the ground and that persona got bigger than his production. That's all it is. And it's a tough balancing act between being that big of a personality and persona, which is different, and what you actually doing on the field. So as soon as it started to slip, all of a sudden, the leash got a lot shorter for Cam Newton. Something that's easily fixed if he just can find it in himself to be a backup and stay under the radar and let your actions speak louder than your words. But right now, it seems like Cam is the same old Cam. Ain't 32 MS <laughs> better than him.